That's gonna get you there. All right, we are gonna walk over. Guess what time it is? Time for our third and final hour of Guys in the Garden. Let me walk over there. Brian, I'm halfway there. I'm getting there. I'm in the other studio. Here we go. So, you know, we stream live on Facebook, right? So we take your questions, comments. I like to say hi to all my Facebook uh, guys and ladies out there. So let's go over to the mailbox. Let's see what we got. Let's see who said hi today. Hey, guy. Yeah. You've got mail. You know, mail's very slow. Snail. Snail mail. All right. Love the show, guy. P.S. Thanks for all the food all season. Love Rocky the Squirrel. He's gone. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Look. <laughs> See him right there? Get a close-up of him. Rocky, my pleasure, my brother. All right. Look at him. He's like, Where? shut up and load up more food. Anyway, that's Rocky. He appreciates it. Mary Sanchez, love my Dynatrap. I've had it for four years, and I just replaced the bulb. Oh, my gosh. Love it. Uh, now I can sit outside and I can enjoy my outdoors. So thank you, Mary. Thanks to all of our Facebook friends. Uh, you know I love you all. all. All you guys out there and all the ladies out there, we appreciate all your feedback. Um, this is our final hour and final show of the season, but don't worry, I'll be back next week with the brand new go-to summer guy. Well, lots of great summer products for you. But I want to uh, show, talk about my pick in this hour. All right, here we go. It is a this day only. I have presented several uh, chainsaws, pole saws to you in the past. Lowest price ever on a pole saw, ever. $69.95, what do you need it for? Oh my gosh, don't get on a ladder. Use the extending pole saw, gives you nine feet. Cut trees, limbs, branches, get them out of your driveway, get them from hanging over your house, your pool, and never get on a ladder. It is eight amp. It's an adjustable pole saw, so you can make it longer or you can make it shorter. It makes short work of anything. It articulates to the angles. No gas, no fumes. It's all electric. You're going to love it. 686, whatever those numbers were. Uh, we'll do that again a little bit later. But it is summertime, and if you want to beat the bugs, all you need is the right club. And here it is right here, our best value of the day, Dynatrap. All right, here we go. So here it is, right? Sitting outside with your significant other, maybe it's your kids, your grandkids. You wanna have a cookout, a barbecue, and all of a sudden they start, right? Insects, gnats, flies, no see -ems, and the worst culprit at all, of all, mosquitoes. How do you take care of that? Well, you can rub yourself full of some poison chemical or you could try to put some oil on you and then try to eat a hamburger while you smell like, you know, some weird chemical. Nobody wants to do that, right? Or you could stay inside, that's an answer, or you can use Dynatrap. Dynatrap is a chemical-free way, the best way I know of, to rid your yard of nasty, stinging, biting, annoying, garden pests. You know, we love our garden creatures for the most part, bees, all that stuff, they're great, but you don't want them around when you're trying to eat or you're trying to relax. You'd never want mosquitoes around, right? And mosquitoes are in your yard. Right now, during this time of year, you know what they're doing? They're getting ready to lay eggs. That's what they do in May. And then in June and July and August and September, they come out and what do they feed on? They're not feeding on your cheeseburgers or your steaks or your watermelon or whatever it is you're eating feeding on you, you are their dinner. So there's only one way to really be able to reduce significantly, I'm talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of bugs, not a week or a month, in a day, and that is using Dynatrap. Dynatrap is a basically a combination, uh, gives off that scent that we give off, which is basically a carbon dioxide scent. It uses a uh, UV LED bulb inside to also attract them. They're sucked in through a fan system. When they crowd around the Dynatrap, they go into a trap door, they can't get out. They naturally perish of their own accord. At the end of the week, you dump them out, and when you see the number of bugs that you have kept from stinging your grandchildren and your children and your husbands and your wives, your significant others, your partners, whatever it is, you are gonna be so glad you bought this. And I don't know if we mentioned it in the other airing, Dynatrap and HSN are giving you 90 days to try this. That's, th that's all of June, all of July, and all of August. If you don't agree 
that it is the most effective way to combat biting insects, insects, you can return it. What kind of bugs does it work on? Mosquitoes, flies, wasps, hornets, stink bugs, moths. There's more. It, it, it will actually uh, harness and, and trap up to 14 different types of insects using that UV bait and that natural carbon dioxide scent that it sends out that draws them in. Everybody has a choice of whether they wanna get the half acre or they wanna get the full acre. Now, if it's me, and it is me, because I own one, bought mine a couple years ago, I got the full acre, I have a third of an acre of property in my house, but I bought the full acre. Why? Go big or go home. I want the big one, and let me tell you, in my little property, I dump that thing about every month. I don't even have to do it every week. I dump it out every month, and there's two inches of bugs in there in the summertime. Two inches of bugs. That is thousands and thousands and thousands of bugs. Every night, it will trap thousands and thousands and thousands of bugs, all right? Uh, up to 3,000 bugs a week. That's been tested, we'll, we'll show you all the, all the uh, stuff. Um, but get it home now for summertime, you'll love it. You'll never have to worry about a nasty, annoying pest. You're gonna, you're gonna reduce the population significantly so that you can enjoy being outside. I have sold out of some colors, but I do still have most everything available. Here it is in the one acre, and you'll notice the one acre size is about double the size of the half acre. This is called black. I have it in the most popular, which is called bronze, right here. I got it in the full or the half acre. This is called uh, stone. I have it in the full acre, half acre, and then finally this is graphite. I have it in the full acre and half acre. Now, you are gonna keep this on 24 seven all through the summer. Oh yeah, but guy, how, that's gonna cost me a lot of money. It costs you about five to eight cents every day, depending on whether you get the smaller one or the large one, which means this costs you about 50 cents a week, all right? That's $2 a month to run it. You're gonna run it around the clock, why? Because it, it, it's decreasing the population. It, you wanna leave it on at night, during the day. You want every insect in your yard to know there's a buffet waiting for them, all right? and then you just let it go. That bulb will last on average anywhere from about three to four years. We have a backup bulb you can purchase today if you want, it's a great price. And if you wanna get the shepherd's hook to be able to put it in the yard, although you can mount it to a post, you can mount it to a tree, Peter, Peter Kilcall and our guests will come out, he'll tell you all the ins and outs. We have the uh, shepherd's hook, which is right here. It's kind of, <laughs> this guy's got to put it in there kind of weird for me to get it out of here. There we go. This is the, it's a very, very heavy duty hook. And all you're going to do is take it and you're going to put it like that. This is tied to it. There you go. So I have the shepherd's hook. You can buy one of these two. What's that? $22. So that you can pick up. Other than that, and by the way, these are all on. We keep them on out here because we get bugs and pests. We're in a swamp back here. So we keep them on here, but you're going to absolutely love it. Let me introduce you to our special guest. Peter Kilcullen is standing by. He owns it, he loves it, I own it, I love it. Peter, it is the smart solution for a relaxing and enjoyable, and I should say mostly insect-free summer. Absolutely, Guy, it really is. You know, everything you said about it is so true. It's safe, it's simple, it's virtually silent. This is the perfect way for you to enjoy the outdoors. I know everyone out there is a lot like my wife Debbie and I, where we spend a lot of time trying to create this really nice atmosphere outside. But if it's now the nice warm weather and you go outside to try to enjoy yourself in the evenings and you're getting bit, and maybe it's not everyone in the family, I want everyone to know again, guy, that you say you don't really get bit that much. I get it really bad. So I love having this around. The technology that Dynatrap has developed makes it so simple for you to trap those mosquitoes. We're not gonna zap, we're gonna trap the mosquitoes, we're gonna reduce that population. So I know you talked a little bit about it, but it all starts right in here with that Attract the Glow bulb. This is the best bulb that they've ever developed, scientifically developed the right temperature to bring those mosquitoes, those 14 biting insects in. It also helps to create this carbon dioxide by heating up this titanium plate, which also, that's just like our breath, bringing those mosquitoes in. And I'll show you real quick what happens when they get close to the Dynatrap. So they get close drawn in. I don't want you to see this smoke. What's gonna happen here is you can see 
It's drawing in that smoke. That's what happens. The mosquitoes get close and they get sucked down in there with that fan. And that's where they go down in that collection basket and they stay there and they'll just expire after a certain amount of time. And you have reduced the population of those biting insects. You don't have to worry about it. So guy, I want everyone <clears throat> to imagine when it's time to go outside, you don't have to prepare. You can just get outside. You don't have to worry about spraying, lighting candles, the tiki torches, whatever that is, you don't have to do it because you know that your Dynatrap's been working to trap those mosquitoes. I, you know what I mean? It's a, it, Peter, I mean, it's not even a question. You know, I've, I've owned mine for a couple <laughs> years, and I listen, I was one of those people that said, eh, nah, this thing ain't gonna work until I got it. And you know, Peter, you've been to my house. I don't have a big property, sure. all right? But it doesn't matter how big your property is. I've got neighbors all around me, right? And I've even told some of my neighbors, get a Dynatrap, strengthen numbers. We, I mean, we can radically reduce the population of insects and have a better summer, and several of them have yes. picked it up. Because they're like, I was like, get it off HSN, man, I'm right there. You know, you, you guys are gonna absolutely love this. But the point is, I got enough stuff that I need to deal with in my house. You know, right now I'm battling a little bit of a termite issue <laughs> in my house, you all know that. Uh, in Florida, people understand that. I got enough on my plate with some of the interior bugs. I don't wanna be dealing with the exterior. I wanna go out on my barbecue porch I want to have a cookout. I want my kids, you know, my Danny to be out there, his, his uh, girlfriend Lily, who gets eaten alive when she's outside. You know, I joke that I don't get it bad, but, but Danny gets eaten, uh, he's not too bad either, but my mom gets eaten up, Lily uh, gets eaten up. Uh, you know, my brother's uh, wife, Kira, she gets eaten up. To the point, her daughter, they won't even go outside. You know, after, after dust, they're like, forget it. Because once you get, you know, it's bad enough to get bit by a mosquito or a noceum, but then Pete, what happens after? The itching. Oh, the itching. And then it goes away, then you lay in bed and if you've got a bite on your ankle, have you ever had that happen, Peter? You get like a bite in an area, like your ankle or your Absolutely. wrist. Absolutely. And you can't stop itching it. Oh. No, it, it's terrible. So Guy, I, I, I wanted everyone to see what we want to be doing this summertime. We want to be relaxing out here because we went through the technology of what Dynatrap does for you. But here's the, the really where they've taken the technology and then gone to the next level, how we use it. So this is our seating area. We're going to spend a lot of time relaxing. And you can see back there, that's where we want to put the Dynatrap, 20 to 30 feet away from where you're going to be enjoying the outdoors. We want to do it about three to six feet off the ground. That's why that shepherd's hook is fantastic. And now we're going to draw all the biting insects away from us. Guy, it's so funny when you think about that versus if I light a candle or I spray, we have to let those mosquitoes and those biting insects get close to us and then try yeah. to repel yeah. them. Here, we're going to draw them away from the very beginning. And then you add what you talked about, leaving it plugged in 24 hours a day. That might be the most important part of this whole Dynatrap system and how it's going to help reduce that insect population in your yard. Because 24 hours a day, it's trapping insects. And I think obviously at night, it's gonna really do a great job to hammer away at that population. But you're sleeping, maybe you're at work, you're not home, but it's trapping insects. Yeah. So you don't have to think about, oh, it's time to do it. And then guy, I've done all of them. I know we talked about it earlier. All the maintenance and every month you have to add this and then you have yeah. to buy this and then you have to do something else. You have to remember to change something. Yeah. Here, I could go the whole summer and not have to do anything with my Dynatrap. Once I turn it on, it works. And, and that's the best thing about it. And that bulb, 27 months, or like yeah. you said, over four summers. Four summers. And, and by it's the way, I do so have the great. bulb. If you want to buy a backup bulb, I always recommend that just because like regular bulbs in my house and they're not ridiculously expensive. They're not at all. I mean, they're 14 to 20 bucks. Almost half the quantity is gone. Get the extra bulbs now so you have them. I'm just saying, all right? It's a really good idea. You know, what? what you never know, is something could fall on it, could crack a bulb accidentally, now you have it. Because the last thing you want to do is have a lapse in the summer where you don't have your bulb in there, okay? So a uh, good idea to grab those. A really quick update, if you want stone, in the one acre, I have 550 left in the one acre. It's only 11:14 in the morning here, East Coast time. I only have five, about 500 left in the stone in the one acre. And now, I'm like Peter. Like I said, I bought the larger one just because I'm like, 
you know, the difference in price to me is not that huge considering uh, I don't have to empty it as often. It does catch more bugs. They both are, are pretty close with the number of bugs, but remember, it's gonna draw in more. It's got bigger capacity, so you don't have to empty it as often. So to me, but it's totally up to you. Oh, by the way, $40 in your HSN account if you open up a credit card with us today. That would drop the half acre to $39 and change or the full acre to $89. Is it worth it to you? I'd pay $100. If I was having a party and I knew there were gonna be a lot of insects around because I had Dynatrap, I'd spend, I'd spend 80 bucks in one day. I mean, because I don't want people running inside. Oh, it's too buggy outside. How many times, have you ever heard that in your life from anybody you know? I don't wanna go outside, it's too buggy. Right, I don't, I don't wanna go here, it's too buggy. Bugs are annoying. They're part of our world. We would not be here without them. They are part of the food chain. They were here before us. They will probably be here after us. I don't, I, I don't, I, it's not, I don't wanna be a bug killer. You know, that's not my deal, but there's a place for them to live and there's a place for me to live, all right? And they can go elsewhere and they can do their business or whatever. You know, my, my, I'll never get rid of them. I know that. That's why when an insect lays, why does an insect not lay one egg? <laughs> because it has a short lifespan. All right, and it has to be able to move around and multiply. A mosquito can hold two, was it 200 eggs? 200. Can you oh, imagine yeah. if people at were least. like that? <laughs> what kind of a planet would we have if people had 200 kids at a time, right? It's crazy. So if you want to control the population in your area, you got to stop the amount of eggs. You got to stop the amount of insects. This is what does it for you. And it does it in a very, very good way, right? You're not zapping them and watching them catch fire. They go in, they're, they're in one area, they basically suffocated and they die and that's it. And then more, you know, more will come, but they will all go inside here. You get a 90 day return policy. Why is that important? Because you're like me. Peter, I held off for a couple years before I bought this. Peter was like, you gotta get it, you gotta get it. I was like, whatever, Peter, whatever. <laughs> Why do you always bother me about that? And then, because, because he knows I don't get bothered by mosquitoes that bad. But then he, Peter was like, yeah, but what about your mom? What about your son's girl? What about Danny? And I was like, yeah, 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 right. It's not about me. It's not about me, whatever. So I finally got one. Right. And I am telling you, it has changed everything. I can go out on my deck. And, and by the way, Peter, just because I don't get stung by them doesn't mean they don't annoy me. Oh, they fly all over. Sure. They're under me, they're, they're up under, they're all over the place. Buzzing they're around. Just for some reason, I don't, they're not, I'm not on their menu. I guess they don't find me tasty like they do you, Peter. But uh, that's well, just I, life. I definitely get yeah, that. Yeah, you do, you're just that's like, you're right. like a big cheesecake for them. They just want to come in there and take a <laughs> bite. They want a little snack. But the right. point is, easy, Peter, right. right? Remember I said that. Peter's like a big piece of cheesecake. <laughs> Easy. Exactly. I'm sure I'm going to hear about that. Uh, you will, buddy. Easy, but you know what, Pete? You have. You, I mean, you you got you have a, you got Harry. I got Danny. A lot of you out there have kids. You have grandkids. Do you ever, and you ever notice? I said this in the first area. You ever notice like little kids? Where do they get stung? They always get stung like on the cheek. You know, because they're kids oh, yeah. and they're too busy playing ball and having fun, and they're like, oh. or I've seen people that get, get mosquitoes on them. They don't even know they're there. And meanwhile, that mosquito is pulsating and getting larger, and sucking all the blood out of you. <laughs> Nobody needs that, Pete. And you can actively, no, they... you can actively change that. Yeah, I mean, actively, that the Dynatrap's doing it. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. And I wanted to touch on again the uh, choosing between that half acre or the acre. So you can see I've got the full acre back there, but this is certainly not an acre here. And I wanted to let people know if you're thinking and you say I have a full acre of property, but the house is in the middle and you want it to protect the front and the back, that's where I would suggest a half acre in the back and a half acre in the front. And if you know that you have a significant problem and you've experienced it over the years with those biting insects, go for the full acre. That's what I've done. Not a full acre of property, but all around here we have standing water in these drainage ditches around here and florida's bad as it is all year round so it just makes sense to really go for the big guy for me but again if you're front and back maybe two half acres balconies smaller places the half acre is going to be great if you have a barn maybe a horse barn a half acre is going to be great in that area but it works while you're relaxing and having fun. And guy, we've been talking about that. That's the most important. Don't get pushed inside by those biting insects. Enjoy your outdoors. Yeah, and you know, and for pennies a day, Pete, you know, when I, when I read that, that's kind of what sold it on me, because I was like, 
I mean, if this thing costs three or four bucks a day, that, you know, that can add up over summer. This costs you about like less than a dime every day to run it around the clock. Less than a dime. I mean, even if it, I mean, one mosquito bite is enough to ruin your day. If you get a mosquito bite on your arm and then you get this big welt there. And did you ever notice, Peter, some people react, their skin reacts different to mosquito bites. Like, uh, like uh, Danny's girlfriend, Lily, she gets a mosquito bite, it's that big. It's like as big as a marble. So everybody reacts differently. It can be really, really bad on some people. Plus we know mosquitoes and other insects carry disease. You're really, I mean, you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't get this. I also, Peter, for what it's worth, mine, I like how it looks in the yard. I like the little purple glow. I think it looks great. And I love seeing all the insects crowding around it and they're not on my deck. <laughs> right. So Peter, where do I put it for it to be most effective in my yard? Yeah, definitely just away from where you're gonna be. So if it's where you're gonna be eating or you're gonna be grilling out or just relaxing, you wanna put it 20 to 30 feet away. And optimum is three to six feet off the ground because that's where your mosquitoes are gonna be flying. And you just talked about that 90 day return policy. Well, I, I know you weren't happy to see this earlier, but these are my bugs. These are the mosquitoes and bugs from my yard. This is again, you can see they, they basically turn to dust, but this is just under a year that I've been able to collect all these bugs. Wow. But you're gonna be able to do that. I was trying to imagine how many mosquitoes you would trap in the next three months as you're trying out your Dynatrap. A guy, I can mention that an independent study was done by the University of Nebraska, and in seven days, they were able to trap just under 3,000 biting insects. And that really is because of this attract the glow bulb. It's attracting more insects, 14 different types of biting insects, attracts them as we produce that carbon dioxide as well. And then that fan sucking all of those bugs down into that collection basket. I'll show you that real quick, guys. Well, the collection basket is so huge on this one acre yeah. that you're never even gonna have to go out there for the whole summer. So here we've got that one way kind of trap door so they go in and they don't come out. And then look at the size. So basically you would do that, you would just dump that out at the end of the summer and you're set to go. So simple to use, but remember, you're not going out there every day, every week, you're not doing anything but plugging it in, let it run 24 hours a day, and then just go right back to enjoying the outdoors. Enjoy your summer. <clears throat> really, I just finally get to use this outdoor space for without suffering all those bug bites. It, it's the simple and easiest way to do it. Again, safe, silent, and simple. No pesticides, no spraying chemicals, no <clears throat> maintenance. Hey, Peter, and tell me this. I know a lot of people are concerned about will it, will it trap the like beneficial insects? Can you talk to that about for a sec? Yeah, uh, definitely not. So the two that we focus on are bees. Now, this will not attract, and I, I, I do know that I think there was some misinformation given, but the, the, the bees, it will not attract bees, it will not trap bees. Bees are super important, yeah. and they're the good guys. So we want those bees, butterflies, things like that, it will not attract and trap those, the good guys. It's meant for those biting insects, yeah. and that's who it's been developed with that, that bulb, that UV LED bulb, to attract biting insects. You know, the reason I asked you that, Peter, a honeybee just came over, right to it and went right through it and came out the other side. <laughs> I swear to God. And I was like, that's a honeybee. And, and, and Brian, my producer and I were like, I, we, you know, uh, beneficial bees, not gonna hurt them at all. Right. It just gets rid of the exactly. bad guys, all right? And you know, oh, again, yeah. again, Peter, you know, we're not having to coat us or our children in, you know, deed or some weird chemicals, you know, even the stuff, the, you know, they, they, there's stuff that's kind of oily and smells nice. I don't wanna smell like that, Pete. I don't know about you. But I don't want I don't want to smell you smelling like that either, Pete. And I don't want my kids, <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. That perfumey smell of, of insect repellent. Nobody wants, and you can't right. tell me that's good for your skin. It clogs your pores. Not a lot at of people all. break out by it. This, you don't even have to do that, Pete. Right, because you're not you're not bringing it. You know, if you have that spray on it, you're using yeah. candles and you're using torches. You have to let them come to you, and they're getting annoying. And then, okay, even if they don't bite you. It's not doing what we want. You want to be able to eat outdoors. You don't want to bring them to you then to try to repel them. 
Here, we're gonna bring them over there, away from where we're eating, so we can enjoy eating outdoors, but not have those mosquitoes near us. And it's not just mosquitoes, 14 different biting insects. So whatever you kind of have in your area, I always think of the noceems and the yeah. gnats, and, and certainly here, and for me, getting bit by mosquitoes. But it works on all of those, and it takes them away from the area. And then reduces that population. Guy, did we talk about that? The population of your mosquitoes in your yard, those are yours. Yeah. They don't travel much, maybe more than just a couple of hundred feet. So you're going to reduce the population in your yard. And you're going to have fewer and fewer mosquitoes every day, every week, and every month and enjoying the outdoors. So it's so simple. It's safe. I think everyone's just got to try it, and then you'll look in that collection basket, yeah. and you'll have proof, the proof right there for proof yourself, the, just proof. like my collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is so, <laughs> I can't even believe that's so disgusting. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> the proof is I've in the pudding. i got it sealed up. <laughs> now, now, you probably won't have to check your trap, but maybe once every month, maybe even longer. But I like to check right. mine, like, every week, because I like to see, you know, all the bugs in there, like, wow. Look what we beat up. Look what, look how we're winning the war. Let's face it, you're never gonna win the entire war because we, you know, insects, you know, those mosquitoes and things, those are, those are food for birds and, and for, uh, you know, uh, reptiles and things like that. So you wanna have insects in the world, you just don't wanna have them on your, in your area. When you're eating, you know, when you're eating corn on the cob and you get stung on the shoulder, on the back of your neck or something by a, by a you know, no CM or a horse fly or a mosquito or whatever, you want to be able to relax and enjoy and have your own property. All right, if you want the stone, most limited, 450 in the one acre. And by the way, the one acre is way out sell selling the half acre. I think a lot of people are, uh, oh, by the way, there's a honeybee. Look, he's right there in the ground. He's alive. He's fine, that's the one that went through it. So those little honeybees, can you see him? There he is. <laughs> he, got, he went right through the trap. So it's not gonna hurt the good bees, it's just gonna hurt the bad bugs. I wanted everybody, I'm so glad we were able to see that. Nice work there, Deke, thank you, buddy. So, uh, okay, 6,000 ordered. We are not even at noon, East Coast time. If you wanna get it before it sells out, I still have four colors available. Uh, the bronze, which is the most popular. Uh, oh, and really quick, um, Kevin, can you put up, or Kevin, I keep saying Kevin, I'm sorry, Brian. Um, Brian, will you put up the, um, uh, the bulb information? I haven't worked with Kevin in a long time. I guess Kevin, Brian, they're close names. All right, anyway, uh, Brian, I, I apologize. So there's, there's the bulbs. You get, here's the thing. If you use this round the clock all summer, you're not gonna have to change a bulb, and that's average four months, five months use, for probably four years. But the reason I want you to get the bulb, the reason you have light bulbs everywhere else, backups, just in case. All right, somebody whacks it, it falls, whatever, and your light, your bulb breaks, you have a bulb, <clears throat> and then you gotta back up four years down the road. And, and those bulbs will be fine, they're not gonna go anywhere. Uh, I also have the shepherd's hook, so if you wanna take it, I'm gonna go on, I'll grab this, I'll grab the stone one. And please pardon my voice, you know after two hours, we get a little rough, but it's me, and I'm okay. All right, so if you want it, there it is. If you want to get the shepherd's hook, this is it right here, $22, all right? Uh, it, it's extra tall. This is about how high it goes into the ground, a little bit lower. You just step it down into the ground. It'll be about this high when it's out there. I love the idea of the shepherd's hook. I own one. Uh, the reason I did that is because I like to move it you know, from time to time, move it, you know, different parts of the yard, away from the house, but different parts of the yard so that I uh, can maximize, you know, uh, the killing of all these bugs. But get these home, you're gonna love them. Item number 096846, half acre 79, full acre 129. HSN credit card today puts $40 in your account, which means you pay 39 or 89, all right? And remember, this is just for the bugs that drive you crazy. There's that $40 off right there. If you are not an HSN credit card holder, today's the day. We never do more. We do a $10, we do a $20, and then the top is the $40. Here's an idea of how it looks on your property. I mean, it just looks like a lamp, right? But it's a, got a secret. It's a lamp that's gonna get rid of the bugs. And man, once you use it with that new bulb, have you seen the new bulb? Bugs, it's irresistible to bugs. It's the bulb very similar to the one in the old days that had an electric current going through it, so you would zap the bugs, and you'd watch a poor moth pretty much get roasted for like 30 seconds. They'd even catch fire. Yeah, cool when you're a kid, but not really cool uh, if that kind of thing wigs you out. So you're never gonna have to worry about that. It's not gonna electri electrically shock. 
anything by accident. And those things would kill anything that came near it. This is for the bugs that bite. This is for mosquitoes, gnats, no see -ems, the creepy crawlies that you don't like, right? That, that fly all over and get in your hair, moths. All those creatures will be taken care of. Peter, I got five minutes. Why don't we start from the beginning? Yeah. Tell everybody what they're gonna get. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that, tech, that technology one more time. Because if you've tried all those other methods, I think you're just gonna say, wait a minute, why haven't I tried this sooner? When you have something that has no chemicals, no pesticides, no odor whatsoever, it's almost completely silent. Certainly when it's 20 feet away, you cannot hear it at all. So we've got that attract glow bulb that you've been talking about, Guy. And this has been scientifically developed to now attract more insects, biting insects than ever before. We bring them in, but then also down here, we have a titanium plate that's heating up and it's emitting carbon dioxide, just like our breath. That's what brings in those mosquitoes. And I'll show you again with this, I've got this dry ice kind of smoke here, show you that once they get close, once they're drawn in from that, then there's a fan that sucks them down into the collection basket. And that's a one-way ticket, guy. They're not gonna come back out. Sucks them down in there, and that's where they stay. So this is how it's working. That's the technology to bring them in. Now. What's great about this is I wouldn't normally have this right next to me. I'm gonna have it away from the area we are to bring all those biting insects away from us, 20 to 30 feet away. And there it's gonna trap mosquitoes. So if I trap 10 mosquitoes one day, then I trap 100 the next day, and then 1,000 by the end of the week, we're reducing that population of those biting insects. We're reducing the female population of mosquitoes, for example. They're not breeding more mosquitoes and we are having a better summer. And this is what's gonna happen. In just under a year, the Yuck. amount of bugs trapped in my Dynatrap. It's crazy, guy, it works. And you mentioned that 90 day policy. I want everyone to, to get theirs home and see how many insects you can trap. And certainly it's not gonna take 90 days, but no. you will be amazed. Well, Pete, think about it. You got June, you got July, right? right? You got August, and if you don't agree with us, you can return it. The reason we do that, and Peter knows this, you're not gonna return it. <laughs> you're gonna open that thing up and you're gonna be like, exactly. holy crap, look at all the bugs that were in my yard. <laughs> and look at all the potential stings I could add or my kids. And not only that, what about you? Don't, hey, mosquitoes will bite your pets too. I mean, you gotta understand this, we're, we're, we're really trying to make your summer <laughs> enjoyable. And Peter, you know, everybody's out. They wanna, they wanna be outdoors, they wanna do stuff. And if you are being, if you're being locked inside because you got mosquitoes outside, you need to try it. You got nothing to lose, all right? The product itself comes with a one-year warranty. You got 90 days to try it out. You got $40 discount with a brand new HSN credit card. I am running out of reasons and excuses for you to not pick it up. <laughs> Just get it. Remember, it mimics right. our, our smell and the light attracts it. And there's a vacuum, basically a fan that's uh, reversed that sucks the insects in. Once they get in, they cannot get out. We are getting close to 6,000 sold for the day. People love it. Peter, you're doing an amazing job. And I'm telling you, it's going to be one of the Thank best you. investments you can make in your summertime enjoyment, you know? Yeah, and, and Guy, I'll mention just real quick again. You're going to leave this on. When you get it home, first day, plug it in and you're gonna let this run 24 hours a day. That's again, what makes it unlike any other, you know, way to fight mosquitoes and biting insects. 24 hours a day, when you're sleeping, we're trapping mosquitoes. When you're at work all during the week, we're trapping mosquitoes. So when it's time to go outside, don't even think about it. Grab everything, head outside, have a meal outside, enjoy the outdoors, because we've been trapping mosquitoes 24 hours a day. And I think that's a huge difference with the Dynatrap. You're gonna love it, and we're finally gonna be able to really enjoy yeah. being outside. Well, you know, it's a safe, to me, Peter, it's a safer way. You're not putting any chemicals on right. your body. You know, you put that oil on and you're closing your pores, you're breaking out, all that stuff. You smell like something weird. You don't have to do that. It's better, it's more eco-friendly, because again, no, no sprays. You know, you spray that stuff into the right. air, you're hurting the ozone layer. You know, you're not doing that, all right? This is not gonna damage anything but insects. To me, it is an absolute no-brainer. Uh, there's no odor, all right? Everything is trapped inside, throw it in the garbage. You can throw it in your mulch pile, bury it in the ground, I don't care. But you're gonna love seeing that it works, and it does work. 90 days to try it. Try it out for June, 
July, August. If you don't agree with us, return it. We know you're gonna love it, and you will. And by the way, one more time, these are the bulbs. Um, I would remind you to get the bulbs just because a lot of times something happens. Maybe it, you knocked it over, one of the bulbs broke. You get the bulbs. This is a two pack of the bulbs right here. They are $14.99 for the half acre and $19.99 for the two acre. I think the difference is you get one bulb in the one acre and then you get two bulbs for the two acre. So uh, 098-762. Wow, almost half the quantity gone on the bulbs as well. Uh, Peter Kilcullen, don't go anywhere. Hey, hey Peter, right. Peter, give me 30 seconds on the pole saw that's coming up, will you? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to be heading out front. We'll talk about that pole saw. But again, here's all you have to know. It extends to over nine feet. But what's amazing is it weighs nine wow. pounds. Wow. So if you've ever wanted to try a pole saw, this is one that you can handle. You will love it. And you will use this continuously through the year. You know, I got mine. I love my pole saw. Oh, yeah. And by the way, another great Father's Day gift. Uh, Peter and I both being very happy dads. All right, buddy. Go back to relaxing and chilling. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, also available, and it's one of my favorites. We've had this in our garden show several times. It's our Arctic cooling hat. You have your choice of the hat or the ball cap. Uh, this is going to give you protection from the sun, from the elements. It has that natural uh, process inside where you, where if you shake it, it cools the temperature by 30 to 40 degrees. Uh, it's a one size fits all. It has a reflective UV barrier. It's water resistant. Waterproof, take it in the pool, bring it when you play golf, tennis, yard work. $17.95 on sale. Uh, this is almost every review is a perfect five-star review on it. I own the uh, the ball cap. I bought it last airing. Love it. Uh, 080844. Stay cool this summer. All right. Woo! Here we go. All right. So one of the most asked questions I get from people that watch the show. Uh, is about blowers, about uh, garden blowers, right? Which one would you recommend? I got a couple of them that I love. This one is my choice uh, because it's one of the most powerful, but also because the turbine inside has the ability to be adjusted with a fingertip control. So if you just want a little bit of, uh, of high power, you know, of, of the powered wind, you can dial it down and you can dial it up. So if you're blowing around fl uh, flower beds, you're not gonna knock over your plants. If you've got flowers that are growing like on my desert patio rose, if I use my regular blower, it'll blow the flowers right off. If I use this one, I can tone it down really low and I'll show you that right now. I'll turn it on, totally cordless, rechargeable, love it. So I can go anywhere I wanna go, but I'm gonna turn it on really low, listen. Hear it? Now on the top, see the dial? Where my finger is right there. L watch and listen. Off. Now the one I, I can turn it up to high. And then I can lower. See how I'm lowering it? I can ease it. So I have the ability to go really, really low. And I have the ability to go, it's actually blowing out of my hand, going really, really high. This is the one I recommend. I think it's the best uh, price, $109.95 for a 20 volt. Uh, you're gonna be able to clean up leaves, dirt, debris. If you've got areas in your yard that you wanna clean up, it's never easier to just walk it around, get everything you need to get done. I don't want a cord on mine. I love the fact that it's balanced in my hand. You can see it blowing. And then I can turn it off with one hand, very, very easy. I only have 400 left. We put it in the show because it's our last show of the season. They will sell out in this airing. It only weighs three and a half pounds, one-handed operation, which I love. And guess what? Not a one-year, not a two-year, but a three-year warranty. My good buddy, Lou Caputo, standing by. Lou. Hey, guy. Good morning. Good morning, buddy. Um, I agree with your assessment. This is the one that I would recommend to people because this guy is so lightweight. It less, weighs less than a gallon of milk. I mean, it's about, you know, it's three and a half pounds without the battery. It's four and a half pounds with the battery. Funny thing, you and I went through this last time we sold this. <laughs> and it's very well balanced, as you can see right there at my fingertip. This one comes with the upgraded batteries. So you're getting the 20 volt batteries, but they're four amps instead of the normal two. And I'll show you the difference right. in a little bit. But let me show you 
the power you're going to get for this. Now, at low speed, it puts out 55 miles per hour worth of air. At high speed, it's 75 miles an hour of air, and it'll move 360 cubic feet of air per minute. So this thing is kind of a beast for something that's this lightweight. Watch this, though. I've got some leaves on the ground here. I'm going to come around to the side. I'm going to see if I can just blow half of this away. Here we go. High power. Wow. <laughs> I mean, okay, so I got leaves everywhere in here right now, but... I didn't even have to move, Guy. I mean, yeah. I could have blown this stuff like across my the street if I wanted to without even moving. It's easy. My house, in my backyard, where my patio furniture is, there's a big old oak tree over me. I love it to death because it gives us lots of shade. But you know what those leaves are like pretty much all year round here in Florida. Every day before we go out there and sit, I break this bad boy out, just take a little stroll. Couldn't be easier. You, you know, it, to me, it, first of all, the fact that it only weighs three and a half pounds, and, and listen, I have, I actually bought a blower, very famous company there. You know, their products are red and white. You probably know the name, uh, but it's got a cord. And Lou, I never use it for most of my garden jobs. I use my cordless because yeah. I, you know, the cordless, I just want to clear off the deck. I want to clear around the pool. You know, I want to be able to do quick and easy jobs. In fact, you know, today, I don't know if you noticed my squirrel, Rocky the squirrel. Yep. Rocky ate all the ate all my bird seed, trying to keep my stuff from blowing off here, and he scattered it all over here. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna walk back here, behind the table. There's a whole bunch of like leaves and bird seed and everything on the ground back here. I could take this anywhere that I need to go, and I could blow off all this debris. Watch this. That's all bird seed on there. You can see it all oh, yeah. being blown off. The whole yard, the whole deck. I mean, what's nice about this, even, look, even in front here, around my, uh, around my um, lights. Oh, watch, I mean, watch look, the yeah, it's, That's how powerful <laughs> it is. I, hey, don't worry, those things are indestructible. But they look are. at, I could get all this area on top, inside, all around this deck, underneath. I got plenty of time and plenty of power, and I've done oh, that. Yeah. I mean, it, it's one-handed one work. Even, yeah. I don't even have to switch anything. And by the way, the battery, and Lou will talk about that, this is a really, really super, uh, super duper powered battery. You'll probably have to charge this if you use this regularly, maybe once every week or two weeks. You know what right. I mean? It's powerful. Yeah, well, I mean, it depends how long you're gonna be blown with it, but yeah. honestly, it takes two hours, two hours to charge it to 100%. So you got plenty of power in there. I've gone as long as 40 minutes with mine and not had any problem. Um, and you know what? It's so much better than me dragging around a cord like this guy, because honestly, at the end of the day, with my patio furniture and fences in the backyard and stuff, this stuff invariably gets caught on something while I'm out there. I wanna show you the back of this real quick though, because we talk about the turbine that's in here and how the, the air that comes out can run up to 75 miles an hour at high speed. That's a category one hurricane, for those of you who don't live in Florida. That's how fast that is. Look at how big the grate is on the back of this. It just, it's like, it's like the Ram air in a jet engine. It sucks in all that air right through the back of this. And if I turn this on, I don't know if you can see it, but the turbine's gonna start, I mean, it wants, look at this, it wants to go out of my hand because it's so powerful. Now, one more thing I want to show you real quick. I've got two of the batteries right here, okay? And I want to show you the comparison, what you're getting right now versus what you typically get. Right. This is the 20 volt, two amp battery that most works products come with, or a lot of them do anyway. This is the one you're getting right now. It's a smart battery with the indicator on the back of it. But also, guy, look at the difference in size. This is a four amp battery. Yeah, so yeah. you're gonna get a really nice runtime out of this when you're working there in the yard. No half done jobs here. It's right. all done and it's done quickly. Yeah, and if you, uh, we'll get a close up of mine right here in my hand. As far as charging it, you get the battery charger to go along with it. It's very, very easy. There, uh, this company puts an orange button right on top. All you do is depress the orange button and lift it out. Right here, you'll see there is a little gas gauge. I, I love this part of mine. When you hit that yeah, button, you see exactly how much gas, you see exactly when your battery's getting low. So you're good to go, you know, and I, I, I mean, I just use this for a couple of minutes, not even, it's not even close. So you're gonna, get a, you're gonna get a lot of use out of this thing. And then when you wanna put it back, it simply goes on the back and you'll hear it snap into place and you're right back going. Man, this thing has a lot of pull. That's a lot of push. All right, hey, Brian, how we doing, half gone? All right, we have 300 left. For everybody out there that wants to pick it up, again, it is very well balanced. I'm holding it with two fingers and you see how nicely balanced it is. You got a nice big soft grip, all right? Ideal for anybody, no matter what size person you are. So if you wanna just blow off the, the leaves around your pool or around your patio, around your deck, 
You know, a lot of people do this in their garage, right? Go to the back of the garage, work your way out, blow everything out of there. It's ideal. I think, you know, Lou, for 109, yeah. you are getting a lot of bang for your buck with this guy. Oh, you really are. I mean, you're getting the long run time. You're getting the high power, and it's deceptive. Because when you pick it up, you're like, well, this is really lightweight. But when you see the force coming out of this, the fact that it does 360 cubic feet of air per minute, it's 75 miles an hour wind, hurricane force wind at high power, you're going to be impressed by this. And it'll tackle the, the little jobs like that path or that big driveway we saw a moment ago. You got plenty of run time. And guess what? I'm not breaking this bad boy out ever again. I'm not taking my rake out. I don't have to run to the gas station and try to get fuel. I don't have to do any of that guy. All I got to do is pick this up and watch these leaves. These are going to go in seconds. I'm going to do the whole thing and this is going to go very quickly. Watch this. Ready? Here we go. And leaves are about to go. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah, I know. I mean, guy, I'm not even moving and you can see them blowing all over. I can even do the corners here. I don't have to go anywhere. And you want to see something really cool. Here's a bottle of uh, bottle. Here's a bag. <laughs> A potting soil. I'm gonna throw this down on the ground here. Watch this, because we know, you know, that's got some nice weight to it. It's not a leaf. Watch what I can do with the force from this. This is how much air comes out of this. Look at this. Yeah, I and know. it just blows it right off the set. I mean, you know, Lou, it's I, a beast. I will tell you this, and, and I know you represent many of the works products. This company is this company. We have done. We have, and, and as a network, I will tell you this, both us and QVC. We have upgraded the brands so much here, and I am so proud of it, because I've been doing this for a long time. I've been doing garden shows for many years. We, we have got, I mean, you know, we would have brands where you'd get, you know, six month warranty, one year warranty, which is, you know, decent one year. This company gives you a three year warranty on a blower. Who does that? I'll tell you who does it. People that know you're not gonna return it, and you're gonna have it, you're gonna use it year after year after year. I mean, it, these are really, really good products. And across the brands, whether it's Works or Sun Joe, Earthwise, whatever it is, we've got really good brands here. And, and I, I, you know, you know they're good. I buy all this stuff, all right? Listen, yeah. I can buy any tools I want. If I really wanted, I'd go to the home store, I could buy all that. I buy this stuff, because I get out here and I'm like, this stuff is awesome. It really, really works. If you want this, last call, 713, I got a couple hundred left, 713, 938, $10 off. Oh, and by the way, $40 off with an HSN credit card, $69.95. Whoa, there's your credit card offer coming up. Lou, thank you, buddy. You're welcome, guy. Good seeing you, man. Have a you great too. day, everybody. All right, my man, you too. Yeah, take, take, take advantage of it. Here's the $40 gift card if you, if you want to get it. It's a great deal today. We do a $10, we do a $20, and we do a $40. Today is $40. Open up a credit card, take that money, and use it on one of our purchases. Maybe you want to buy a pole saw with it. Oh, not a bad idea. I'm walking over. Last item. Nicole, are you sad? It's the last, it's the last, Nicole helps me so much with all my shows. It's the last item in our last grand finale, guys in the garden, very sad. The whole crew, everybody's here. Uh, this is, I picked this because I, I think one of the first purchases I ever made in our garden show was my very first pole saw. I, had, I bought that probably about seven years ago. I got a brand new one last year and I absolutely love it, and it's an Earthwise, because I like this brand for pole saws. I bought another one, and I absolutely love it. In fact, I gave my old one to the neighbor. All right, it's getting a little old. You know, after six, seven years, you know, you, you buy a new saw, especially when you could buy it for $69.95. I bought my very first pole saw, almost identical to this, six, seven years ago, for like $139. Prices are down a little bit, which is good for you but the performance is still top of the line. What do I need a pole saw for? Well, first of all, not everybody needs a chainsaw. Regular chainsaw, big old bulky chainsaw, pole start, gas, oil, ah, nobody needs that. You want something that is electric, something that's easy, right? Something where you can extend it. So if you want it to be longer, you can make it longer. If you want, you simply unscrew both sides. Let me do this one. Well, I'll do it after, I'll do it on that one. And you can extend it out. It has a cushion grip, all right? You are never near the blade because the, 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 the control is way down here. So the blade is there. The control is way down here in my hand. It's corded electric. In this case, I like, because I've tried cordless chainsaws. Uh-uh, I don't like them. Not enough power. This is gonna give you full power with no gas, no fumes. It's eco-friendly. 
Uh, it is a nine foot reach because the last thing you'll ever do and I ever want you to do is get on a ladder with any kind of a chainsaw. If you have to get on a ladder, call a professional. Okay, even I would do that. I would never get on a ladder. I don't have to with this because with this, I can reach as high as I need to go and I don't even have it extended. You can see how high that is right there. So if I've got debris, tr uh, tree limbs hanging over my driveway, I got something hanging over my car, I can do that very, very easily. I can articulate the end by pushing the button. And what this does is this increases your angle. So now I can use the weight of the saw to be able to cut. Today's value, I have never seen, lowest price I've ever seen on a pole saw. Father's Day, Father's Day, Father's Day. Let me get Peter Kilcullen back, by the way, he's a customer pick as well. Pete, I think this is probably the first power tool <laughs> you and I ever sold together. That's right. I mean, and it's been, I think, our most popular lawn and garden tool for all those years as well. And I think the reason for that is that I think everyone finds out that they can actually use a chainsaw or a pole saw like this and not be intimidated because Earthwise has designed this for you, for people who are not, they're not a professional, they're not using a, a chainsaw all the time. But when you take a look at this pole saw, nine pounds, super easy to use, not intimidating at all. So you know what, before I extend it to its full length, let me show you when we talk about cutting and why I think that this is for everyone. So you can see I can rest it right on there. The most important thing is that I'm a good distance back from the business end, right? Then I can just fire this up and I'm just letting the saw do the work for me. I'll do another cut. Now I can see that, that the wood the wood is vibrating a little bit in my stand here, but what I think you'll notice when you use the saw is that you're not holding on for dear life. You're not fighting against that. It's very easy to use. It's not intimidating. And I think unlike a handheld chainsaw, being back here is fantastic for most people. So that's the best thing about this. You're going to be able to use this. You're going to take care of those limbs that are 10 12 feet above, as you said, guy, the driveway, maybe getting close to the roof, maybe even those limbs that are getting close to the uh, the cars in the driveway. So look at this now. I had it, I had it um, compacted all the way, but now fully extended, nine feet, three inches. Now I'm just over six feet tall. Look at that 45 degree angle. That's the way you want to be. You want to be safe and I can start cutting limbs. So honestly, I bet I'm over 12 feet right there. It is such a great way for you to be able to maintain your yard, take care of all these things. And guy, we've talked about it again and again, and not have to pay someone to come and do this. Oh my gosh. P you know what, Peter? <clears throat> if I could tell everybody, like, I have, I have probably presented and sold more chainsaws to my friends than I have any other product. Right. Like my brother, my brother loved, my brother Darren, he loved the pole saw so much at his house, he bought another one to bring up to his, because he has a, uh, we have a little ski house up there that he has, and he's like, I use it more up in Vermont because the, you know, the, the weight of the snow from the branches comes over the deck and over the house. He's like, I just go right out on the deck and I reach up and I cut down all this stuff. I wanna show everybody how easy it is to use. I've got one over here. Always use eye protection. I got glasses on, so I'm good to go. Peter's probably told you this already. So essentially, I think I'll go on this side. You got a two button control here. So as I said before, you can hear how powerful this is. Um, all I do is depress both buttons at the same time. And then I just come over and I cut. I don't have to push or apply pressure on here, but the key with the chainsaw is start it before you get to what you're trying to cut. Get the blade going, all right? Let it do the work. Let it do the work. Fuck. That's how easy it is. Okay, I'll do another one for you, all right? Just let it do the work. <clears throat> Clean cut, easy. I'm not even pushing on there. All right, that is how easy it is to use a pole saw. And, uh, and the danger part is way over there. Um, there is a little cap on the top right here. And all you're gonna do with this, you're gonna open it up just like this. And this is where you put your oil. Uh, it's it's really oil. Oh, it's full. You can see the oil inside there. So you want to put that cap on and fill that up. What that does is as the chain is circulating inside, it allows a little bit of oil to circulate with it so that it runs smoothly inside. Other than that, I mean, the only time I've ever done anything on my pole saw, if something gets stuck in there, there's one bolt. You pop that off, you take out the weeds, put the bolt back in. 
tell you tighten the chain as well. Never been easier, Peter. One of my favorite things that I bought, and you know, I use it. I've cut down trees with it, Pete. I don't know about you. Well, well you know what? You, you really can, because here's, here's something that Earthwise has done. I mean, made a pole saw that's easy and, and great for anyone to use. But think about this. We still have a 10-inch bar and chain with, the, with an Oregon bar and chain, which is the industry standard. So the same type that you're going to find on those professional chainsaws. So you've, you've got that. It's just like, you know, guy, having, you know, a, a good quality sharp knife in the kitchen makes those things a lot easier. Same thing with this. We also have an automatic oiling system. You've got a little window right there. All you have to do is make sure that you keep that bar and chain oil in there and you can get that at any home store. Keep that in there and it will automatically just lubricate that bar and chain. So you can't go wrong. And because it's 10 inches, you're right, guy, you can really do some heavy duty limbs. So I don't recommend doing too many huge limbs above your head, but what about if you wanna cut firewood and things? Remember, you can just reach down and use this to cut firewood that's on the ground. Again, you're further away from the business end, so you'll feel good about that. Again, everything kind of really points to that if you've never used a chainsaw, if you've been intimidated by the thought of using a chain or pole saw, you can use this one. It is so simple. The weight makes it easy, cushion grip, this fiberglass pole, yeah. all of this, you can extend it from the bottom and you can extend it from the top. So which means is not just always extending it all the way, but making it so it feels good for you, perfectly balanced. So all of that's important to be comfortable when using your chainsaw and you can do it. So I'll do another cut as well, because I want everyone to see it is simple. You showed everyone guy as well, but you're letting the, the weight of that saw go right through that wood. Just let it nice and comfortably go through and that's it. And then guy, oh, I'll mention real quick, when you look at this, uh, and again, Earthwise has thought of everything. So it's an inline motor. There isn't the big clunky motor on one side because when you're, when you're looking up over those branches, it, it really clogs your view up a bit. <clears throat> Here, that's not gonna happen. And it's the only chainsaw that has that articulating head so you can find that perfect angle to get at those branches. You are gonna love this guy and everyone's yeah. gonna use it. Use it now, use it in the summer, and then the fall is a perfect time to be trimming back all those and, and trees Peter, and branches. Peter, you know, nine pounds in your hand. So easy to be able to use. Andy, don't be afraid. This is a user-friendly pole saw. Not for children, grown-ups, but you're gonna love it. Men, women, we get more calls oh, yeah. from the ladies out there because they love it as well. So get it on. Peter, you're doing an amazing job. Great job with the Today Special. Thanks, Great guys. job with everything. All I will right. see you soon, my brother. See you, Pete. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that is the season finale, everybody. Thank you to all my shoppers. Thank you to all my online friends. Uh, thank you to Robin and Deanne and Laura and Ed and Martina. And I can't remember everybody's name, but I'll get you next time. Thanks to Rocky the Squirrel. Chad, my man, thanks, Deke, everybody. Rocky the Squirrel, everybody here. And of course, uh, you know, there's our uh, little uh, mascot. Hey, we'll see you next time, folks. Have a great day. nothing quite like shopping with a friend. So pull up a chair and shop with us. We'll be dishing the scoop on what's hot. Catch you up on what you've missed. And share some of our favorite discoveries. Come shop with us every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Sit back. Let's do it. Relax. <laughs> and enjoy the thrill of finding something new. It could sell out right now. Join Colleen Lopez as she shares new favorites and top finds you'll love. You shopping with Colleen Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern. You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. 
We understand every woman's skin is unique. We offer real beauty solutions for individual needs of real women, empowering women to achieve healthy, radiant looking skin. Backed by over 30 years experience, made from important ingredients combined with advanced science for affordable skincare that truly works. Change the story of your skin and your life forever. Genuine beauty begins with skin. This May, HSN and QVC celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month with our customers, vendors, team members, and communities. All month long, we'll be highlighting Asian American and Pacific Islander owned or founded businesses that have become a part of our family. To learn more and to shop these great brands, visit hsn.com and qvc.com and search AAPI Businesses.